but the father of the modern synthesizer is undoubtedly Dr. Bob Moog. The Moog modular synthesizer first became widely heard in 1968 on a record called Switched On Bark by Walter, now Wendy, Carlos. It was big brother to the best known synthesizer of all time, the Mini Moog. This is the last uh, off the production line. It was made in 1980. The last of about 12,000 that were made between 1970 and 1980. It's an analog monophonic synthesizer. That means uh, it makes waveforms by electronic means and it plays one note at a time. In an analog synthesizer like this, we start out uh, with an oscillator. An oscillator produces a steady pitch sound. And in this synthesizer, we can control the oscillator sound from either the keyboard, from the pitch wheel, or automatically through modulation. The oscillator has a waveform, and that determines the harmonics. Here's a triangular wave. Sawtooth, square, and two rectangular waveforms. With all those harmonics, we can shape the sound through filtering. That is, we can cut out these harmonics as the sound goes on. Here's a filter which cuts out the harmonics starting with the highest. Another important aspect of the sound is its envelope, how it builds up and decays as it goes on. In an analog synthesizer like this, uh, there are four parts to the envelope. The attack, which is the rise, the decay, which is the fall from the highest point, the sustain, which is how loud it is as it, as it continues, and then the release, which is how rapidly it dies to zero when you let go of the key. Here now I have a slow attack and slow decay and fairly low sustain, so you can hear each individual part. First the attack, then the decay, and the sustain, and finally, I let go of the key, the release. <laughs> 